It was very hot. Conditions were rough for us to play and compete. Tennis is a, it can be a cruel sport for the body. Not afraid to move forward, sits pass. To a first set tie break we go, 44 minutes in. There's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of running, there's, it's, it's really tough for the body to, to deal with that day-to-day uh, -day play. Yeah, he's got it. Matteo Berrettini in 50 minutes at 7-6. He's got the first set over the number 14 seed. We all know that serve is very important in men's tennis. Uh, it's a big weapon and you gotta use it correct. You have the ball in your hands, so you are in charge, you are in, in control of what's going to happen. Yeah, that's good stuff. And the Greek player and his fans, they've got a set in hand, set four. Points were very close, everything was, uh, yeah, very close. Just shy of the two-hour mark here on court three. We're about to play a number, another tie break. Yeah. Winner number 40 of the day for Berrettini. I stayed calm and stayed aggressive. Uh, didn't think too much of uh, yeah, what, what the score is and focused more of, of, of me being aggressive and making him feel the pressure. The Greek fans are happy and so is he. I love the fans, I mean, <laughs> they like noise when they're in the court. They, they're trying to you know, give that energy to the player. I do appreciate how much they care and how much they respect and love what we're doing. It's a double fault and Stefanos sees pass. Gets through. The Greek fans are delighted, and for the first time in Australian Open history, a Greek man has won a main draw match. He's into the round of 64.